Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We're here with the finale for Atlanta Falcons theme team, all Falcons squad builder, whatever you want to call it. We have finally made it here, and there was just one more piece we needed to put in to this puzzle, and he is the rookie premier right guard. Chris Lindstrom gets popped in, and this is where we end up. Still a 95 overall. Again, this team is only Falcons, right? We see we now have upgraded Le'Veon Bell all the way up to his 99 status as well. And right here, we have Earl Thomas as well, all the way up to his 99. So this is as good as it gets uh, from an overall standpoint for just Falcons. There's no backups of anyone else. If you don't have Atlanta Falcons chemistry, you can't play on this team. It's been a long road that we did get here, but we did only get to 95. Uh, there was definitely some spots, uh, some pain points where we needed stuff. Outside linebackers, middle linebacker, definitely could have used some help. We still only ever got upgrades to two receivers. What? 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 Sanu never got a card? Like, come on. Hopefully next year that will get resolved. But we are going to take this team and hop into... An actual game and play with them in weekend league and see how we do for the finale now we still may end up doing some theme team battles along the way on the road to madden 20 uh, i'm not 100 sure yet what type of videos i want to do but if we do do that i will reach out to you guys on twitter at the actual cc put out a tweet looking for something to play hey and then we can play sound good sounds great let's roll into the finale all right, we got our opponent here. He's got Kyler Murray, Juju, Randy Moss. Okay, okay. So what are we going to be running today? It's my scheme. The scheme I've used pretty much the past couple of months. Why is that important? Well, all my schemes this year and going into Madden 20 are going to be available on MaddenTurf.com. It's a website I help own and run. Uh, where we put out ebooks, guides, all that. We did the solo battles guide last year. Maybe we'll do one for Madden 20. Uh, and if you guys ever want to get on there and grab something, I know we have a premium membership uh, for sale now. Maybe not for everyone, but you're going to get essentially uh, all the stuff from from all of us, from myself, from uh, where do I need to put you? Dubby from Clef. Uh, from route combo from even Shikobi. Shikobi's going to be doing stuff with us again. Uh, so you may want to go do that. But we will be putting up a pre-order guide next week where you're going to get the first offensive formation, first defensive formation uh, at, at a pretty good pretty good price, honestly. So you may want to go get there again. Use code CC. Get yourself a discount. Save some money. You might as well. And hopefully um, we can keep our momentum of winning a ton of games into Madden 20. We're definitely less of a uh, talent team on the field today, and that, that's okay. I'm fine with it. My internet is bugging out again. It's amazing. I'm shocked. Shocked. Come on. Hike the ball. Hike, hike, hike the ball. Hike the ball. I tell you what's not going to be in the guide as a main play. Four verticals. or two by two set. That's not going to... We're going to... Unlike this game, we'll teach you how to block the blitzes, how to get past stuff, how to beat popular defenses, and not end up what our man D'Lo did. Did that? That was that was just that was bad offense. You block him. Thank you. Come on, Dion. You haven't had a, a return in for. I suck at kick returns and punt returns. So based on how I, I saw our opponent play there, I'm just gonna play a little more random on offense. Uh, just it, it introduce a little bit more fun because I feel like if I were to run my schemes the game would get really ugly really quickly and I want to do something here and have a little bit of fun with you guys so we're just going to pick some random plays uh, from the quote unquote ask Madden section and we'll run uh, we'll run this mesh play we'll run mesh whatever this Again, we're going for entertainment this game. Obviously, I, I want to win. It is weekend league. Um, but we're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to play the game. Play to win. Let's see who we can get the ball to. Calvin Ridley. And I said, I said it on Twitter. I think he's the best receiver in the game. That's what I think. That's what I think. A lot of people didn't agree. 
That's fine. You don't have to agree. I was going to do a fake, but apparently Matt Ryan is holding the ball. And I'm not going to run a fake with Matt Ryan. I wanted to run a fake with Michael Vick. But I, I didn't set it up. So it's okay. I'm going to play less aggressive on this drive. I don't want him to just quit out. So we'll see what he... As I said, <laughs> uh, and Vic Beasley said, no, I'm, 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 I'm getting the sack. Boss, I'm coming in. But keep in mind, we got to shade our coverages up. Why do we have to shade our coverage up? Because you got one receiver on the left side, which means that he would then be in man coverage most likely. And you got to shade your coverage to avoid that or else he's going to be in man. Then all of a sudden when the crossing route comes across, we're going to be in really bad position and we got to stop anyway. So it's fourth and 19 and we're going to get the ball back. That was pretty fast. That, had, that all happened really quickly. But now we'll have a little bit of space to run some offense, to have some fun. Let's see what we can do with Dion here. He almost died. Dion almost died. And next random play right here. I feel like he's open. Good job, Tony. Look at Tony going from one of the most overrated cards in the game in my opinion even right one of the biggest disappointments um he was on the worst team in madden but he's still tony he's still he's gonna catch the ball he still plays well we picked levels we picked levels as you talk good about tony what happens Pfft, he drops the ball jesus tony let's keep the change moving chains moving oh god he's he's coming for us i mean <sighs> I, he was in the D line with like really he guy whoever he's got is really really slow. Damn. Okay. I mean that's that's good for us. All right, we're doing it again. Hooper on the right, end zone fade. Didn't even jump. That's twice. That's twice. That's why Austin Hooper is not very good in this game. Now I can't help but when someone comes out in five wide, I gotta play aggressive. Can you give someone who has a good five wide. All the time in the world, and they're they're gonna eat you up if you don't bring pressure. So like, I mean, he forced my hand. He that was his fault. He did it, not me. He wanted me to do it. He wanted me, like right here. Like I we could we could sack him. Let's sack him. Whatever. For the good of the game, we're gonna sack him. I'm gonna want the ball back. I don't even know what he's doing. I'm lost being passive we're not blitzing we are just we're sending all the down linemen there's no there's nothing wrong with that i know that that's like it's fine what we're doing but i don't want to play like super aggressive because he's going to run slants literally right to us get out, everyone get out of the way everybody get out fix up for madden 20 no he's gone he's gone he's gone he's gone he's gone he's, gone. he's He's, don't go. It's a close game. It's seven nothing. I'll make a mistake intentionally. I'll give you the ball right back. I'll give you the ball back. It's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal, Delo. I will give you the ball back, and you can uh, you you can try. Uh, we can keep this fight going. But if you quit, you quit, and then there's nothing I can do about that. All right. Have a little fight in your heart today, man. Do it for the people. It was like a promising play. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see what we're doing. It's fine. I see what we're doing. You're playing to win now. I respect it, but when we start to play to win, things aren't going to go nearly as smooth, d -Lo. Is We're doing this again? We're doing this again? You have the... Oh, playing these games for you guys to try to get gameplay is so difficult. So difficult sometimes. It's so frustrating. Playing to win is fine. Playing to win is easy, right? We can do that all day long. But actually getting a competitive and a fun game for you guys and 
and give you guys, you know, commentary on the game, points on the game. I try to help you give you guys little learning tips when we do gameplay. It makes it real hard. I mean, it's it's freaking July. People don't want to deal with the game. I will figure stuff out, but I am looking forward to Madden 20. You guys are awesome. You guys, your journey with me started in Madden uh, 17, technically. I, I did like a couple videos at the end of Madden 17. And then we, we we dipped our toes a little bit in Madden 18. We got a little bit more going as a, you know Christmas and all that came around. We had a little more fun with the game then. And we got a little more into it at the end of Madden 18. You know, not not the most consistent, but we were getting there. And then, then Madden 19 again, it was, okay, let's keep it going. Let's get things moving. And then we just really said, like, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do more gameplay in 20. Absolutely. Especially early on when people are, when maybe I'm not, as, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not as good, which would be a good thing for the games because it's so hard for me. To like tone it back sometimes so whatever it is what it is i'm out peace